Yo, yo, welcome back to another weekly update of your EMF franchise, the greatest Madden franchise out there. Something you need to be a part of this week. We did something different, including all the games starting off. Raiders and Falcons here. He would get sacked. Ball would get picked up and ran in for a touchdown all from one player, but the Raiders would end up bouncing back after that, finding their man AB on the out route, and they would end up taking this game 31 to 23, going over Bengals and the Browns and all game from the get go. Browns knows who he is, and he dominated the entire game, winning this game 30. 8 to 7 as you're gonna see Odell is wide open on the streak Bengals had no chance going into that we had a great game this week between the Bucks and the Bears it kept it very interesting at first it looked like it was gonna be a massive blowout but Trubisky had other minds and trying to keep this close getting his boy Sammy Watkins on the outside Devin White is all over the field. He's hard to play against, but Trubisky is going to make an outstanding throw. And with the missed user, it would be a touchdown and it would lead to this clutch field goal that would get kicked in. And the Bears would take the game, completing a 28 6 comeback. Good game for them. Here we go over to the Steelers versus the Ravens. Both teams at the bottom of their bracket, but. They put on a show as back and forth. They went and kept the game interesting here. He's going to run him over, get the 21-20 to lead, and Ben Roethlisberger would need to make something happen, and he would indeed as the Steelers would end up taking this game 28-21 to as the Ravens just didn't play good enough defense at the end of the game to secure the victory and the Steelers would move to two and seven now we're gonna go over to one of the less action-packed games Houston Texans versus the Jacksonville Jaguars Lamar Miller is gonna get this pitch to the outside and run with it and take a lead and they would end up kicking a field goal to secure the two possessions at the end of the game winning this game 19 to 10 and the Texans still stay on top of the bracket still prove that they're one of the teams to watch out for in the AFC now we got Jets versus the Bills and there's that man Kroom going streaking catching touchdown Bills would end up dominating this game it looked very close and it looked very interesting all game but as you can see, wide open routes are not what you want to do, especially when you got a man like Isaiah McKenzie there. Here we are, division rivals, Panthers versus Saints. 40 to 21 would end up being the final score of this game as the Panthers would run with their boy McFarland and just dominate all game long. The Saints did have a couple moments, but it wasn't going to be enough as this Panthers defense is one of, among the fastest in the NFL and among the fastest in the league for sure as they take the nice dub dominating that Saints offense all game. Going over we have the Chiefs versus the Patriots and the Chiefs from the get go knew exactly what they were going to do and came out and executed it and took the 34 to 3 lead here we had chargers versus the broncos very good back and forth game they kept it interesting all game but the run committing from the chargers would end up costing them this game as they would lose it 34 to 31 as philip Lindsay's going to take this in and take that lead now Giants versus the Redskins and we had a little surprise game here at first it looked like it was going to be really really close but the Giants do what the Giants do come out and dominate and show why they're the best user in this league taking the win 34 to 7 now finally over to the game of the week 49ers versus the Lions it was a crazy game for sure it went back 
and forth and it was so interesting one of the funnest games in emf history for sure to watch here he's gonna throw a great pass over the top but there would be a holding call and it would get taken back but it would not matter as they would end up running in the end zone anyway here he's got teddy bridgewater in and bridgewater is going to throw a great pass to marvin jones jr they would be up 14 to 6 and with 52 seconds left in the half stafford trying to make it happen and what a route and what a pass that was one of the crazier routes here 49ers would try and get some points before the half but it wouldn't be enough power and it would go straight to his return man and he would try to get some points on the board making a couple people miss but they would go into the half up 21 to 6 coming out of the half jimmy garoppolo wanted to get this team going on offense and that's what he did is right there he's gonna throw a great pass to his halfback it should have been a user pick but he didn't click on quick enough and make the play here dobbins gonna take this 70 yards for a rushing touchdown and they're gonna go up 28 13 stafford tried to get the play action there in a dangerous territory and it would cost them as they would end up giving up two points and then the ball would go to the niners and they would put it in and we got a 22 28 game with two minutes left then on the next drive they would force the turnover get in for a touchdown and take the lead here trying to do too much and it's gonna cost him as he's gonna fumble the ball there and it's gonna be taken over by the lions who need to get in the end zone in the last 40 seconds of this game stafford trying to find an open receiver he's looking everywhere that man gets open des bryant Never thought you'd see him in a Lions uniform, but they would end up getting in field goal range, kicking the field goal, and with 11 seconds left, Jimmy Garoppolo throws a great pass, and Fuller goes for the pick, and there go down 36 to 31. What a great game! That could have gone either way at the end. It just happened to go in the 49ers' favor as Garoppolo is going to throw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns. Wallace is going to have two touchdowns and 112 yards receiving. Dobbins would end up rushing only nine times for 96 yards. Maybe want to start thinking about getting him more involved, having numbers like that that is gonna be it for this week's weekly update i hope you guys enjoyed we got everybody in if you guys like this let me know down we're about to release some merch so hopefully you guys are ready for that i hope you guys enjoyed peace